snap gear cable has got to be one of the most annoying things to break. It's really frustrating, especially when you're out on a ride. So we're going to be looking at how you can fix this trail side to hopefully keep you riding or at least get you home. If you're really well organized or you're out for a big day, then hopefully you'll have a spare gear cable. If you do, you are absolutely laughing, especially if you've got a multi-tool as well, because, well, it's a straightforward swap. You can just thread this new one back through, fix her up, tighten it in place, give it a rough indexing, and you're laughing. You're off home, jobs are good. And, but what do you do if you don't have one of these? Yeesh. A gear cable will most likely snap either up at the shifter end or right down here at the mech. It's, it's where the most friction happens, sort of where the ends of the outer meet, if you like, with the mech and the shifter and the joints are. Unfortunately, mine is gone today. Look at this, exploded. But how am I gonna get home without having to ride back in 12th gear? Because that's gonna be a pain in the butt and I've got some big hills to go up. As it snapped down at the other end there, I'm gonna whip the cable out at the shifter. So we'll get that little screw out the way pop the outer out and just push that through and hopefully now the cable look just pops out it'll be a bit tough but i can pull that all the way through with the old cable out then flip the bike upside down watch the old garmin on the top there there we go pop the outer to the mech out and then what we're going to do is with our frayed up end there if you can try and just swizzle it back so at least holds itself together a bit we're going to thread that through the normal way the cable would go through the mech. All right, we'll thread that one through, pull it all the way through. You're going to have lots of excess and you'll see the end of it there is just going to sit nicely in there. Once you've threaded that all the way through, then put it under where you would normally clamp the cable, but push it up. You can either pedal it or push it up into an easier gear. Look. Let's go. There we go. Solid fourth gear action. Put that one in there, wrap it around nice and tight so it holds, and hopefully you have got a multi-tool to hand, because if you haven't, you are a bit scuppered. And with your multi-tool, four mil, we'll nip that one up nice and tight. What that's gonna do is hold it, hopefully in fourth gear, look. Hey presto, look at that, that'll get you home. With the excess that you've got left here then, just reel that up down at this end, just wrap it around your fingers a few times really get it going just wrap that around your fingers coil that up Can't get on you there we go until you've got a bit at the end and then with you what you've got this end bit here just wrap that one through a load of times and that is going to keep that coil together nicely look happy days that will get you home easy Easy, look at that for a hack. Fourth gear, uphill, downhill, you can carry on riding all day. You might get a bit flapping around. If you can sort of maybe thread it through somewhere, look at that, you can pop the outer in a touch, just holds it in nicely in place there as well. There are some great ways you can avoid a gear cable snapping. Firstly, regularly checking areas of wear and tear. So down near the mech and up near where the cable enters and exits the shifter to make sure there's no signs of fraying, as these are places where there's high levels of friction and snapping is most likely to happen. Also keep an eye on the actual way your shifting feels. So does it feel grindy and crunchy? If it does, then there's a high chance that the cable itself is rusty or the inner and outer are contaminated. So mud and water have gotten in there and it's no longer running smoothly. If that's the case, it's probably time to replace them both. Try to avoid shifting under load when you're riding. This puts a lot of extra stress on the cable and let's face it, crunching gears don't sound good either. With that fixed then, I can now get myself back to the burger van and happy days. What do you do though if the gear cable snaps right at the shifter though and you're only left with a tiny stubby bit? You're probably not gonna be able to do that. Well, a worst case scenario, if you are miles from home and you've got a cable actuated dropper, you could even whip the gear cable out of the dropper as it will do just the same thing and get yourself back that way. And it's an extreme one and it causes kind of more damage if you like to your bike or more uh, parts that aren't working, but it does get you home if you are stranded. But I'm fixed, I can now get out of the woods, so I'm gonna head on and grab a burger. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've really liked this tech video. It's been fun presenting some tech. Nice to mix it up. But that's me. I'm out of it. Happy riding, everyone, and I'll see you later. Oh, fourth gear. Look at that.